Hey guys, welcome back. In this session, we're going to be creating our basic API and we're going to be outputting the data to the front end of the website. To begin with, we're going to make a model. PHP Addison make model. And to name this, we're going to look at our table name, which is blogs, which is plural, and we're going to make the model blog singular. I'm going to hit enter. This is going to generate a file within the app directory called blog. As you can see here, this is empty, and the user uh, is another model that was generated when we began the project, and this has got data in it, but we're just going to leave this blank for the time being, because there's a few other steps we need to do first. Um, next, I'm going to create the controller. I'm going to do it the same way as we made the model, so php addison make controller, and because we're making an API, we want to make it in an API folder. So within HTTP controllers, there's no API folder yet, but if we do this as make controller API forward slash blog controller, and then we're gonna add a hyphen hyphen, I think, I think it's a hyphen resource. This is then gonna I'll generate it first. This is then gonna make a file with all these default functions in there, and these are the, the CRUD functions uh, create, read, update and delete. So this saves us a lot of time and we don't have to build it manually. Okay, that's great. And within here, we're going to want to return some uh, our information, our data from the database. But we want to just return everything for the time being. So what I'm going to do is, at the top, I'm going to do use. And we want to use this blog model. So what I'm going to do is use app. So we're looking at app backslash blog. So blog. Great. This now, now allow, allows us to use that model by doing blogs equals blog. Oops. Oh. Great. We're also going to want to return this in JSON format because that's how we want to output it to the front end. And we're going to do that by doing return response. JSON. Then we're going to pass it this variable. Great. I'm just going to save that. And then the next step would be to create a root. And to, to do that, we want to open up our roots. But instead of going to web like we did in the last tutorial, we want to go to API. And within here, we're just going to input um, root. Resource. Blog. And then we want to reference the controller, which is API backslash blog controller. Great. We should now be able to access um, the root blog, and it's going to be under API, so it's going to be forward slash, forward slash API, forward slash blog. Save this file. Save this. I'm already running PHP Addison and serve, by the way, so if you don't, you need to do it now, PHP Madison serve. So I'm going to take the URL, open my browser. I've already got it open, great. I'm going to go to forward slash API, forward slash blog, hit enter. And as you can see, we've got all our information here coming from the database directly. 